What is up, my Planet Coaster friends? Johnny Five Live here, and we are back with another episode of Coaster Spotlight. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Boomerang Steampunk Launch and Reverse Backward Coaster created by Messino. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, so this is another coaster submission sent in by David. He says, hi there. I just finished a coaster. I'm not an awesome scenery coaster, but I tried to do something different. A launch coaster, and once it reaches the end, it goes backwards and reverses. A small one, one minute duration, 900 meters long, maybe worth a shot. All coasters are worth a shot, my friend David. Thank you so much for your submission. Quick look at the Steam Workshop, everybody. Boomerang Steampunk Launched in Reverse Backwards Coaster by Messino. Links will be down in the description as always, come rate it, favorite it, subscribe to it. Bam! All right, so I picked this one because it looked rather interesting in terms of design. I thought it was potential. It has potential. It's going to be a quick one. All, a lot of the videos have been running over. Um, well, we'll see if it's going to be a quick one. You never know with these things sometimes. But the design of all this looks fabulous. I really like it. It's got this steampunk almost Victorian style mixture of themes going on, maybe even like uh, Greek or Roman of some sort. And uh, it looks really nice. So it is a park, it's not a placeable coaster. However, you probably could place it. Let's see how many pieces this all is. That's a thousand, that's a thousand, 500. So let's see if he has these on his workshop. He does, or at least a couple of them. I don't see them all. We have this almost like cruise ship that's flying steampunk it looks like um i got ah, somebody help me there's an alarm why do i have an alarm going off at 9 p.m oh, i guess i must have set it for <laughs> all right that's why my alarm didn't go off at 9 a.m um <laughs> all right back to what i was talking about it reminds me of something from that uh bioshock game is that the one i'm thinking yeah i think that's it um yeah, very cool style going on here. Got a little drawbridge here to nowhere. Airport credit Rohana Ardiez. Ah, okay, so this is someone else's blueprint. All right, scratch what I said earlier. House name. Okay, can't type author. Um, okay, so these are other people's blueprints. Okay, um, let me see here. You could probably just put that on the Steam Workshop link. You don't have to put it in your park. It kind of detracts from the prettiness of it having these signs. But I understand it. That's very nice of you. So being considerate. So good job there. So the station was also built from stone. Okay, so <laughs> you he took the blueprints and he put them together. But nonetheless, it's really cool. So I believe everything was built by someone else other than the coaster. But... The layout and the nice little piece of scenery here, it all comes together really nicely. So good job at making this one big compositional piece. So I do like it nonetheless. And this is kind of cute. Oh, the coaster's going through here. So we haven't done too many reverse launch coasters, so this is going to be exciting. I like it. I like it already. Alright, let's just dive right into it. What did the coaster get for ratings? A 5.4 excitement, a 4.3 uh, fear, and a 1.5 nausea. Not too bad at all. So as soon as one gets back here, we'll jump on to it. All right. Oh. Volume. Volume. I almost do this every single time. Wow. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. I did not expect this. And my computer's dying. Quite surprising indeed. Danger. It's boosting us. End of the line! Ah! Yes! Oh yes! It's so good! Oh, are we upside down? What's going on here? Oh, we were. That's disorientating. That is cool. Good job. Really nice design. Let's let's give this guy a go at nighttime. Um, I suppose we could do seat view 
everybody likes a different view. We can't really do cinematic on this one. So we'll do a seat view. Something for everybody, guys. Gotta hear the people screaming. I don't know why you can't hear the people as well in track view. It's a little bit strange. Could use a couple more lights at that one corner. It's pretty well lit though throughout the whole thing. An explosion right here as it goes backwards. That would be perfect. That's my feedback. This is a really cool spot, hanging upside down like that. Wow, we um, that was great. I actually was quite surprised. I mean, it was better than I expected. I didn't know how much coaster was actually going to be in here, and from the looks of it, it's quite a bit. Oh, that, oh, that is so crazy. When we got to the top of that rev that launcher, I thought we were facing straight up. I totally did. Let's take a look at that again. So this spot, I thought we were going straight up. This feels like we're vertical right now. Ah, that is quite the illusion. Because it's, it's shooting us backwards, but it feels like it's shooting us downwards. Yeah, I like the illusion of this and the disorientation inside the cave. Uh, quite surprising, this one. I, I wish we could place it down. If you could find a way to recreate this, maybe build your own boarding station... Uh, but the design of it is really good. If you could put it into rock clusters, instead of using terrain, use rocks and build it into a placeable coaster. Um, I think the design of the coaster is really cool. Um, and put an explosion at the end, so when it goes backwards, it blows you up and sends you backwards. Uh, a few extra lanterns inside there. I notice you use a combination of cool lights and like blue lights and uh, yellow lights. And then the, the sunlight, I mean, the moonlight coming in was a really nice touch as well. I like the, the combination of blue and yellow. So, yeah, really good job at doing the lighting. Let's try and get out of here. And um, it looks beautiful at nighttime. I, I do realize that these are other people's blueprints. But uh, these are spectacular. So these are the names of the people if you want to go download them. And one here so there they are everybody um considering you used everybody else's blueprints and it was a coaster spotlight a part of me in the back of my brain i didn't say it out loud was thinking oh, that's a bit disappointing um because the only thing that you did build was the track however i was impressed by it i was impressed by the whole inside of what was going on you had me confused um and surprised so considering you used other people's blueprints and you did something pretty special uh i think this is just an added element to something that was a good creation so my feedback is to try and recreate this coaster as a place blueprint using rocks and scenery try to keep that illusion and that mystique of being discombobulated on the inside i really liked it i enjoyed this one a lot so well done once again everybody that is boomerang steampunk launched and reverse backwards coaster created by missino uh links will be down in the description as always and that's going to do it for this episode of coaster spotlight thank you guys so much for watching and if you like please be sure to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos all right everybody i hope you have a awesome day. I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!